Hello beautiful Virgo and welcome to your September month ahead reading. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader as well as a root worker. Please keep in mind Virgos, this is a general collective reading so not all messages will resonate for every single Virgo out there. If you do want a personalized one-on-one -on -one reading in case these messages do not resonate, I do offer personal readings and you can link up with me through my website which is below in the description box. Virgos, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. With all that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. So starting off actually with the tea leaf deck, I'm going to be pulling some possible situations that could be coming up for your month of September and I will be clarifying those with my tarot cards. So Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos for the month of September? Okay, is that one or two? I couldn't tell. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos for the month of September? Okay, we got four cards. I'm going to go ahead and stop there. All right, let's take a look at these cards, Virgo. You got the dogs getting together with friends. Awesome. We have an older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. Okay. We also have the torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Okay. And then we have the tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go through these cards one by one and clarify them. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos regarding these dogs? All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Coins reversed, King of Cups reversed, and the Sun card at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. So again, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Coins reversed, King of Cups reversed. Okay. Interesting, interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we also have the Sun card. All right, Virgos, this is what I'm seeing. Um, particularly with this King of Cups reversed and Nine of Coins reversed, I'm seeing someone who has really thrown themselves into their work, their duties, their routine, um, to the point where they are emotionally just exhausted. Um, some of you guys may be feeling a little over-emotional, stressed out, um, tired of doing the same things over and over and over again. Um, and I feel like you have somebody coming in with the Sun card, possibly a Leo, um, to bring you some sunshine and warmth, <laughs> to kind of lift your spirits, to get you out of the house, to get you away from your desk, or just from your daily routine in general, and kind of turn things around for you emotionally. I feel like you guys definitely need that at this point in time. So this is a good time to really let go of responsibility you know i'm not saying throw everything out the window but um obviously when you have free time getting together with your friends could definitely do some wonders in terms of how you're feeling spiritually mentally emotionally and things like that so let me go ahead and take a look at the numinous astro deck and see what additional messages we can get for these dogs spirit what messages do you have regarding these dogs that one flew out too okay so we have the virgo card which obviously we know you are a virgo but there could also be another virgo coming through for you guys and we also got the planet of pluto the planet of transformation at the last second this planet is the planet of renewal inner sources basic instinct motivation personal power evolution cycles of death and rebirth um, intensity and extremes. So I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are probably going through this right now. You guys are in a space where you are really putting your all into something right now. Again, whether that is um, taking care of your home, taking care of your family or your job, your career, and taking care of your family all at the same damn time, Virgos. Um, 
Some of you guys may have gotten into this rut of just constantly being in work mode and someone's kind of coming along and bringing back that fun side of Virgo that they know you to have. What's really interesting is at the bottom of the deck you have Venus, the planet of love. This is also the planet of beauty, harmony, romance, charm, sensuality, luxury, wealth, value, pleasure, adoration, attraction, indulgence, taste, and style. So this could be a Libra, could be a Taurus coming around as well. Those signs are ruled by Venus. Doesn't have to be, but I'm definitely getting a lot of Venus energy here. They're kind of taking you out, pampering you, maybe taking you out for a spa day, taking you out for some nice drinks, a nice dinner. It is Virgo season, so I know birthdays are coming up for a lot of you guys. Maybe someone is taking you out for a really nice day um, just for you, away from the kids, away from the family. Um, maybe you guys are taking a little mini staycation, taking some time off of work to really reconnect yourself with you and um, your beautiful self. I really love that for you guys this month. Let me see what's going on or what we can find out from the Daily Crystal Inspiration deck. Spirit, any additional advice for my Virgos for the month of September regarding getting together with friends? Any additional advice? Okay, let's see. Speak your truth, Sodalite. Okay, some of you may need to just verbally communicate to people like, I'm not in a good space right now. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overstressed. I'm overworked. I need some time to myself or just away from everything to kind of reconnect with me. We also have Rhodonite. Find a way to forgive. Forgive yourself for feeling the way that you feel. Some of you may be feeling resentment towards your job, your family, your home, whatever. Find a way to forgive yourself for feeling those things. You do absolutely need time to kind of recoup and that's okay. Um, some of you may need to forgive others for maybe kind of putting you in this position as well. What else? Oh, and forgive yourself for making mistakes too, Virgo. That came up. And we also have Labradorite. See the magic. All right. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are really in kind of a a bad space mentally and emotionally so it may be hard for you to see that you need this time out with friends um, you may even feel guilty for wanting to do that so just try and let go of some of those feelings and look at this as a time just to celebrate you and the hard work that you have done um, so far all right so that is what I'm seeing for these dogs I'm gonna go ahead and clear up all the cards and move on to the next one. All right, moving on to this older man. Let's see what's going on here. Let me just shuffle up this deck really quick. Ooh, excuse me. Whoa. All right, let's see. Okay, a lot of cards flying out. Let's take a look. Spirit, what messages do you have regarding this older man for my Virgos? Okay. We have the Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords reversed, and the Eight of Wands reversed. And Page of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Very interesting. I'll go ahead and show you these cards. Two of Cups, Eight of Swords reversed, Eight of Wands reversed. <laughs> and the page of cups reversed at the bottom of the deck give me just a second here Virgos alright Virgos this is what I'm seeing for some of you guys there is some sort of change that you are looking to make whether that is mentally or space-wise. Some of you could literally be changing your physical space around you. Some of you guys may be making a move. Um, it's, a, it's a slow move. 
with the eight of wands reversed. It's not a fast move. This feels a little bit more planned out than if the eight of wands were in the upright. Eight of wands tends to be very fast moving energy and the reverse is slow. So I do feel like there is some planning and calculation behind this, but what I'm also seeing with this eight of swords reversed is a change in mental space in terms of releasing either fears or doubts surrounding your own personal uh, capabilities. What's really interesting with this older man, keep in mind this older man doesn't have to mean a man in his 60s or above. This could just literally be someone older than you by, I mean, we could say 10, we could say 20 years, maybe. For some of you, you guys are finding comfort in spending time with this person. It doesn't have to be on a romantic level, but I am seeing um, some companionship here. Okay, I do see like a genuine exchange of energy. This person may provide you with advice, guidance. Um, this person could be trying to steer you in the direction that they know that you are capable of doing. They may be helping you um, kind of free some of these self-limiting thoughts and behaviors as well. This could very well be a therapist. I'm not going to lie to some of you. This could be a really, really great relationship here. And again, doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could be. But I am seeing possibly a therapist here because with this Eight of Swords reverse, this is definitely, well, with all of these cards here, this definitely talks to me about someone who is feeling comforted, A, and B, moving forward in some step of your life. Now, this is a slow process therapy, so that would make sense. You're actually taking the time to address the things that concern you, that, um, that keep you from moving forward. So some of you guys may actually be going into therapy this month, which I think is absolutely awesome. I think everybody should have some form of therapy in their life. Let's see what else. This page of cups in reverse is really interesting at the bottom of the deck. I'm not sure what's going on here. There may have been, um, There may have been some news or communication that came to you recently that was very upsetting. Some of you may have had something new fall through in a way that was not expected and you had a lot of emotions invested in it. Could be a new job, could be a new relationship, could be a number of things. But whatever it is to you that felt it felt like an emotional connection. Again, it doesn't have to be a relationship, but it could be something that you were just definitely emotionally invested in at the time. And you may have not received some great news about that. And that could have maybe brought up some things that you didn't realize were either still there or you're realizing that there are things that are kind of preventing you from recovering from things like this. The way that you want to. Let's go ahead and look at the Numinous Astro deck and see what kind of messages we can get. All right, we got the card of conjunction or the aspect of conjunction, which is the aspect of empowerment. Combines with, enhances, strengthens, joins forces, activates, intensifies, authorizes, allies with, concentrates, saturates, overrides, and overwhelms. I'm getting really, really big therapy vibes. Again, it doesn't have to be therapy. You could just find either a mentor or maybe you are participating in a romantic relationship with someone who's an older man than you. But whatever this relationship is, it's mutually beneficial in some way and definitely beneficial for you. This is going to be an empowering relationship in whatever aspect it ends up being, but this is going to be really empowering for you, especially mentally is what I'm seeing here. It is going to take some time. It is going to be a slow process, but definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Definitely beneficial. Definitely worth your time. 
and possibly your money, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we also have semi-sextile, semi the aspect of allowing. This encourages, allows us to see the potential in, clarifies, gives hope to. Um, all right, Virgo, sorry about that. Trash truck is here. I'm probably going to have to stop again in a second, but let me just get this card out. So semi-sextile, the aspect of allowing. This aspect encourages, sees the potential in, clarifies, gives hope to, compensates, tempers, cycles, grows, realizes, and rewards. All right, Virgos, I do apologize for the interruption. Like I said, I have the trash truck outside. It has finally moved away from my window. You will still hear it a little bit, but it's further away now, so hopefully we won't get too much of a distra uh, distraction. But as I was saying with the semi-sextile card, um, this is a really encouraging and empowering um, relationship happening here. Like I said, whether this is romantic or, you know, non-romantic and whatever aspect this relationship is happening, I feel like this older man is providing you with some sort of space for you to feel comfortable in healing and growing and learning about yourself. So let's go ahead and move on to the daily crystal inspiration here and see what kind of advice we can get for you guys regarding this situation. Spirit, what messages do you have in terms of advice for my Virgos regarding the situation with their older man? Let's do one more shuffle. All right, Spirit, what do you have? Lemurian Quartz, practice patience. I definitely feel like this is talking about patience with yourself as you go through this process. Again, the Eight of Wands reverse. this talks about a really slow moving process. So don't be frustrated by the fact that things are gonna move a little bit slower here. Um, just kind of let yourself heal and grow and learn um, at your own pace, it's okay. All right, that is what I'm seeing for this card. I'm gonna go ahead and clear everything out and we're gonna move on to the next card. All right, moving on to this torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Let's go ahead and shuffle up these cards. Oops. Spirit, what messages do you have for the torch for my Virgos for September? Okay. We have the Queen of Coins reversed, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Wands reversed, and the King of Coins at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's take a look at these cards. Again, I do apologize if there's some noises going on. Okay. And again, at the bottom of the deck, we have this King of Coins energy. What's really interesting is I feel like this torch somewhat ties into this older man energy a little bit. We have spiritual development, which could go into um, like a, a therapy aspect or a therapist um, client relationship or patient re uh, relationship here. Um, this King of Coins at the bottom of the deck could very well represent this older man. So this could be a Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or it could just be, um, I mean, it could be completely unrelated and it doesn't have to be an earth sign either. Um, the King of Coins usually talks about someone who's extremely stable, almost like a father figure. Um, they're very nurturing, but also very responsible, very um, stable um, in terms of their mindset, their views, how they handle um, everything in their life. I also call this the king of business. This could be a very prominent businessman who runs his own business or is very high up in terms of managing a business. Um, this person is just um, probably one of the most stable people you could imagine. And the really beautiful thing here is we have this queen of coins in reverse, which I feel could represent you. Um, the king of coins could also represent you since you guys are earth signs. But since this king of coins is happening outside of you, I'm getting the queen of coins more for your energy. Um, usually when I see the queen of coins reverse, this talks about um, not being able to nurture ourselves or care for ourselves or others the way we typically would. 
taking care of our health, just making sure that everything is stable and nurtured. Again, the queen of coins, like the king of coins, is a parental kind of energy, very stable, nurturing, mothering energy. Again, you don't have to be a female um, to have feminine aspects in your um, personality, in your energy. We all have both masculine and feminine energies um, that we work with on a daily basis throughout our lives. So the Queen of Coins definitely talks more about nurturing energy. So I feel like either you're not nurturing yourself, so you're able to nurture others or something to that effect. Maybe you're not nurturing things in your life like your home, not taking care of your home, your health, your finances. Maybe you're feeling just a little out of balance or unable to kind of keep up or cope with things that are happening around you. Um, the Ace of Wands is really interesting because I do feel like there is something kind of sparking here in terms of passion, growth. This is definitely action driven. So that's why I feel like this could very well tie in with a therapy situation for a lot of you. You could be becoming very passionate about your growth, expressing that um, sometimes in an artistic manner as well. Um, a lot of the wand energy surrounds, um, you know, passion, creativity, um, artistic natures. So some of you guys could be channeling some of this growth and trying to channel some of your nurturing energy into being creative and artistic with yourself. That may be a form of self-care that you find really helpful for you. What's really interesting to me is this page of wands in reverse. There could be a lot of things that are kind of grabbing your attention and you're not sure what to settle on or where to direct all this energy. <laughs> But you guys are very enthusiastic and gaining some passion here with this torch. Um, and that's really great to see. Um, you guys are kind of awakening up to the potential in your life. Um, and it's awakening some really beautiful spiritual energy here, definitely. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's look at the Numinous Astro deck and see where this could be happening for you or what aspects could be affecting this or what it could equate to spirit what messages or additional messages do you have for this torch for my virgos let's do one more shuffle ah, there it is all right we got scorpio you guys may have a scorpio in your life all right some of you guys may have some really significant planet placements or a house placement that Scorpio falls into. Um, that could be a good place to look at in your chart as well. See what's going on there. That could be being activated. That house or those planets could be being activated at this time, sparking some really beautiful passion for you guys. At the bottom of the deck, we have the second house of assets. All right, let's take a look. Second house rules your material world, your possessions, your finances, uh, talent, talent, values, um, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit scores, security, and aesthetics. Okay, so for some of you, you definitely may be channeling this into talents, like I said, such as art. Some of you guys may be channeling this into the way that you look. Some of you guys may be channeling this into the way that you make money or attain wealth okay so you guys are feeling really really inspired here to make some really big changes you guys are starting to see things from a different perspective or a new perspective you're excited you want to try all these things that you've learned um, while taking care or learning how to care better for yourself beautiful i love this energy all right virgos let's get some advice from the daily uh <laughs> daily the daily crystal inspiration let's see i don't know where that pop, uh, accent popped out of but <laughs> spirit what advice do you have for my virgos regarding this torch chris appraise allow yourself to receive oh allow yourself to receive inspiration allow yourself to receive help allow yourself to receive enlightenment inspiration um, receive care, receive assistance, queen of coins. Sometimes you cannot give unless you accept um, things from other people. So accepting help, receiving help, 
receiving love and uh, care, all those beautiful things. Wow, really, really beautiful reading for this torch, you guys. Let me know if this resonated for you. I would love to hear what happens regarding this torch. I'm going to go ahead and clear out the cards and move on to our final card. The tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. I feel like these three cards all kind of tie together in a way, but let's take a look. Let me just shuffle up these tarot cards really quick. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos regarding this tortoise? Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, Empress card in reverse, and the Knight of Wands. All right, and Seven of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. Let's go ahead and take a look at these cards. All right. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands reversed. Okay. So, Virgos, I do feel like there are still some unexpected things possibly popping up um, as you travel down this new journey of yours, as you're implementing some of these new ideas or realizations. Um, but all in all, it feels like you guys are really moving forward into a place of emotional stability and happiness and fulfillment, which is really great. You may not always feel your best all the time. That's okay. You may still be learning how to kind of pull that confidence um, out of yourself on a daily basis. That is okay. There may be days when you feel like the Empress and there may be days when you don't feel like the Empress and that is okay. It's all a process. It's all a journey, but you are absolutely passionate about moving, um, moving into that space. And honestly, there's never really a complete you know, fairy tale ending in terms of happiness. It is always a journey. You choose to be happy on a daily basis. So just remember that, um, again, sometimes things get the best of us and that's okay. Um, but slowly but surely you are getting ahead. You're learning, you're growing, you're blossoming into this beautiful person. And I think that's just gorgeous. <laughs> I absolutely love this energy for you guys this month. Let's go ahead and look at the Numinous Astro deck to see what kind of additional messages we can get for this tortoise. Just shuffling up here a little bit. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos regarding this tortoise energy? What messages do you have? Oh, we got Cancer. All right, so check out where Cancer falls in your chart. If there are any planets you have in Cancer, that could be a really good indication of what's going on here as well. Um, I am seeing the Empress, which is Libra and Taurus energy. We also have some Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. And then we have the Ten of Cups, which is um, Pisces energy. I would definitely look at where Cancer falls though in your chart and at the bottom of this deck you also have the 10th house of reputation. Maybe you have Cancer in the 10th house, but let's take a look at what the 10th house um, represents. This represents our career, our responsibilities, achievement, competence, fame, notoriety, authority figures, legacy, purpose, and empires. Okay. You have the two house, the, the second house come up either with the torch, I think it was the torch. You have the second house come out at the, at the bottom of the deck and the second house and the 10th house kind of go together because the 10th house is usually the house of career. Second house is the house of stability, finances, luxury, and wealth and things like that. So I feel like a lot of this energy is being channeled into your career how you present yourself in business, how you present yourself in terms of um, making your financial dreams um, a success. So I think you, this is definitely making you more confident in those realms, making you feel worthy of success, making you feel worthy of the money and income you earn, making you feel worthy of the notoriety and the success you see in the workplace or in your career or in your business life, which is all really beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed with this reading, Virgos. This is amazing. 
let's go ahead and take a look at any advice the daily crystal inspiration deck has for you regarding this tortoise energy that was really quick actually i'm not sure if this is your card let's reshuffle let's just see what else comes up spirit what advice do you have here we go all right well it came up at the bottom of the deck too so this card that came out was the agate get back into balance okay some of you guys may be having more downs than ups at this point in time with this empress energy again the empress card usually for me represents like i call it the bad bitch card okay this is like someone who just oozes um beauty femininity stability um fertility not just in terms of creating children, but in terms of creating business opportunities, wealth, and things like that. Again, this sign or this card is associated with Tauruses. Tauruses are very much all about their stability and luxurious things um, for the most part. Um, so I do feel like this is kind of a reminder just to kind of keep yourself in check, get yourself back into balance. If you have a bad day, it's just a bad day. It's just a bad moment. And the next moment or the next day is a new opportunity to be this bad bitch, okay? Um, the card that first came out and ended up coming up at the bottom of the deck was Lapis Lazuli, and it said make a decision. This could be making a decision in terms of how you handle things that come up in your life. This could be making a decision to choose to be happy and not let things get you down. Um, you know... Some of you, it could be just to stop second guessing yourselves and make a decision um, as well. So let me know how that resonates for you guys. But that is what I'm seeing for your month of September this far. Please, again, leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys have a beautiful month and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.